Hello everyone. Our topic uh, for today is moment of a force. How to calculate moment of a force by using vector formulation. So to start this topic you need to understand how we can get uh, you know we must know about the cross product how we can find out the cross product of two vectors so uh, there are two vectors a and b if we want to have their cross product then uh, its magnitude will be equal to c is equal to a b sine theta and direction of this cross product will be found by using right hand rule so uh, your fingers uh, it is uh, its direction is found by uh, its direction is found by uh, using right hand rule and uh, your thumb uh, is directed along the moment or the resultant of a cross b cross product of a and b so this is the basic information of the cross product how to find its magnitude its magnitude is found by find by a b sin theta and its direction is bound by using right hand rule now we come back to our uh, original topic which is how to find out moment of a force by using vector formulation so moment of a force is found by cross product of two vectors r vector and f vector so this is an important formula that is going, going to be used in the upcoming examples also this is the formula that will be used in the examples so you can see that uh, r cross f means that you will write r vector and f vector in the form of cartesian coordinates x y and z and then you will uh, find out the value of this determinant and you will get the answer in the form of moment about point o so this is the vector formulation that is going to be used in the upcoming example uh, so first uh, before solving the example i must explain what is the principle of tra transmissibility principle of transmissibility says that a force can be applied at any point along its line of action and still create this same moment about point o so uh, it says that this force can be applied at any point this is the line of action of this force and it can be applied or at any point it can be applied here at it can be applied at point this at this point or it can also be applied at any point at this line of action but the results will not change that means the result uh, moment that is produced by this force at about point o will not be altered so it is shown in this equation as well that if we uh, uh, we have a cross product of r1 and f is equal to r2 cross f and is also equal to r3 cross f so we will we will prove this principle in the upcoming example as well and uh, we see that uh, that uh, how this principle of transmissibility is applicable so this is an example in this example uh, it is being asked that determine the 
movement produced by the force in figure about point O express the result as a Cartesian vector. So you need to find the cross uh, moment. You need to find the moment due to the force. This is the force of 2 kN about point O. This is point O. You can see here. This is the bottom of that tree. And uh, is also asking you to express the moment in the form of Cartesian vector. That means in the x, y, z form. I, j, k form. So now you can see here that its solution starts from writing the position vector first. So R A means position vector A and R A we will have to see the coordinates of point A. You, you can see here that at point O the coordinates are 0 0 and 0 that means x y and z are 0 and at point a only uh, point a is on the z axis so x and y for point a will be 0 and only the z coordinate which is equal to 12 you can see here that point o is 12 meter away from point a and uh, if you travel from uh, o point o to point a you are actually traveling in the positive z direction that is that you are going on the upside and on the upside the z is positive so this is positive 12 k you can see here that r a is equal to 12 k then we will write down the position vector r b so we need to uh, find out the coordinates of point b for this you can see here this is um, r b position vector and you can see that uh, the coordinates of point b this is point b and uh, this distance uh, is in the positive x this is x uh, so x is positive on the this left side and you can see this uh, 4 meter is parallel to this x axis line so x is 4 and this is parallel to y uh, and you can see here y is positive on this side which is the right side of this screen and uh, this is positive 12 y so 12 uh, will be written in the form of unit vector 12j so 4i plus 12j you can see here this is 4i plus 12j so uh, we have now found uh, position vectors ra and rb now we need to have force vectors force vectors uh, then we will take the cross product of this r position vector and force vector to find the moment in this form so first we will get the force vector force vector uh, is equal to magnitude of the force and multiplied the direction of the force direction of force is along a to b a to b so magnitude of the force is 2 kN is multiplied with the direction of the force which is u a b so u a b is the direction which is found by position vector r a b that means r a b is equal to uh, point b coordinates coordinates of point b means x b minus x a is the x coordinate plus y b minus y a so and then plus x z b minus z a so in this way we will get the position vector r a b and then uh, on the denominator it is the magnitude of this 
r vector so in this way this is the direction u a b this is u a b this formula is for u a b direction from a to b which is equal to r a b divided by r a b magnitude so when we solve this and we'll get the force in the form of i j and k unit vectors now we have three vectors so now we can find now moment by the taking cross product and the principle of transmissibility says that effect of this force will remain the same uh, and uh, we now prove that principle uh, you can see here that uh, if we multiply the force with, with Ra or Rb, the result is, the answer is same. So, R vector and F vector is written in the form of Ijk in, into this determinant and this determinant is solved, which is quite easy and you will get the answer.